Welcome to this CPD presentation on slideshow shortcuts. My name is John Diel. This presentation looks at slideshow shortcuts that can enhance the way we deliver presentations. I've lost count of how many times I've said this. Practitioners are constantly coming up with new ideas and innovative ways to use technology. This is, in general, a result of them evaluating their current practice, identifying the things that they'd like to do that they currently can't, and the things that they would like to improve. They then look at the technology available to them to see if they can bring about the changes identified. That's where I'm often called in. Do I know any top technology out there that will allow them to whatever the issue is. As you'd expect, before I can provide some possible solutions, I have to do some research and or talk to my colleagues across the UK. The research often involves revisiting old familiar technologies such as PowerPoint. I know PowerPoint for many is summed up by this image from fake posters. However, Putting that aside, on a re recent revisit to PowerPoint, looking at capturing existing presentations to be captured for use in flip models, I discovered some shortcuts that many practitioners may find useful. So here we go. Two of the shortcuts I will show you are one, the laser pointer, and two, the ability to mark up right on slides as you present. I'll also show you how to you can access a whiteboard or blackboard during the presentation. Just a quick note, a graphics tablet makes it much easier for you to annotate the slides and or to write draw on the white or blackboard. The first step is to choose the color of the laser and the markup ink. To do this you select the slideshow tab followed by left clicking set up slideshow. Using the drop down menus the pen color and laser pointer color can be selected. Once selected click OK. Just another quick note ensure that the colors you choose can be seen over the slides that you're going to mark up or use the laser pointer on. That done, let's go through some of the shortcuts that you may find useful. The F5 key on your keyboard will start your presentation from the beginning. Or holding down the shift key and typing F5 will start from the current slide that you are looking at. Typing B will replace your current slide with a black slide or if you prefer a blackboard. Likewise typing W uh, it toggles between a whiteboard and the current slide. I'll show you how these blank slides can be written on if required later in the presentation. There are times during presentation when learners who are taking notes would like to know which element on the current slide the presenter is referring to and or talking about. This is where the laser pointer comes into its own. Just hold down the control key and then using the mouse left click and hold. The laser pointer in the color that you've already chosen will appear and using the mouse it can be moved around the current slide. Many practitioners will find a wireless mouse and keyboard important especially if they want learners to use the laser or other elements in a presentation. Releasing the control key or the left click button will hide the laser pointer. While we're talking about showing and hiding, typing the A on the keyboard will hide or show the arrow pointer. I've observed many presenters frantically moving their mouse in an effort to get the pointer visible. All that was needed in reality was to type the letter A. Now let us look at the markup. 
here a presenter needs to access the pen. Access the eraser to move the markup or make corrections. And finally, return to the arrow pointer once the markup is complete. Here are the shortcuts. All of them involve holding down the control key prior to typing the appropriate letter. The control key, then type P for pen. Control key, then type E for the razor. And control key, type A for the arrow. When the pen is visible, presenters can annotate the current slide or a blank slide by left click and hold to draw, releasing the mouse button to stop drawing. When the eraser is visible, again left click and hold while moving the mouse will erase the annotations. How many times have you wanted to view a web page or another document while mid-presentation? Well, for those of you who do, this shortcut allows you to view the taskbar as well as the current slide. It allows for smooth changes between presentation and other items and back to the presentation. Just in case you forget some of these shortcuts, Holding down the shift key and typing the F10 key on the keyboard will bring up the shortcut menu. I hope you found this useful and that the shortcuts enhance the way you currently use PowerPoint. Or it helps you at least to capture your presentations for learners to access at times that suit them via a VLE or the flipped learning environment. This presentation was produced by myself, John DL, as a flipped CPD resource. Please note there are many other shortcuts that practitioners may find useful. They can be found via the help icon on the PowerPoint software.